Some of the power of the face machine is derived from its ability to let you manipulate large portions of the face with relative ease by using a small number of controls to manipulate a relatively larger number of secondary controls. Sometimes though this automatic deformation isn't going to be exactly what you want. So in many cases there are fine-tuned controls on the secondary controls to allow you to adjust the way the face machine will automatically deform parts of the face. A good example is here in the nasal labial fold, where depending on your character, you may want more or less creasing occurring in this region. So there's a little bit of an automatic deformation to allow you to change the density of the crease created by the face machine. Same goes in the sneer area, assuming you don't want your nose to automatically sneer when you raise the upper lip. You can turn that down or simply turn it off entirely. In the brow, you can see that there's a lot of automatic deformation going on here. When we move the inner brow controls towards one another, they create a nice solid crease right along the center. But depending on your character, that may not be exactly what you want. You can go in and manipulate this sort of thing by using the individual control itself, but if you don't want to have to deal with that, we also include an ability to turn off or turn down or turn up the creasing in this area. And of course, there is such a thing as too much. In the jaw, there's actually another very useful automatic deformation tool called the lip follow. Normally when you manipulate the jaw, the lips spread apart, as you can see here, as you'd expect them to, with the lower lip following the jaw and the upper lip staying on the upper skull. However, assuming you wanted your character to hold a certain pose, such as in a chewing or a mumbling dialogue or something like that, you can turn on lip follow and then the face machine will try its best to keep the lips in the same pose moving around the surface of the face while the teeth underneath open and close and the cheek mass changes. So as you can see the face machine is trying to give you as many controls to fine tune even the automatic deformations that it's going to create for you in your animation.